Welcome to the beta waiting feature of the Thinkorswim Platform Monitor tab, a favorite feature of many experienced traders for use in assessing systemic or market risk. Before we begin, what is beta? And what is beta waiting? Beta is typically used to compare the volatility of a stock to the volatility of another stock or index. For example, a stock's volatility can be compared to an index's volatility. If a stock tends to move a similar percentage to an index's percent move, then that stock will have a beta of 1 when compared to the index. If a stock tends to move a higher percentage than the index's percent move, that stock's beta will be higher than 1 when compared to the index. And if a stock's percent move is less than an index's, that stock's beta will be lower than 1 when compared to the index. This process of comparing volatility of a stock and an index is called beta weighting. You can also use the same process to beta weight one stock's volatility relative to another stock. Looking at the positions on the Monitor tab in the Activity and Position section, each has a different delta or net shares. Delta is defined as an approximation of the change in the price of an option relative to a change in the price of the underlying stock when all other factors are held constant. However, each stock has a different price and different volatility, making it difficult to assess overall risk on the portfolio. Beta weighting converts the delta or net shares of the position relative to the symbol selected for beta weighting. The beta weighting tool is found above your positions on the right side. Click it to check the box. Then type in a desired symbol to beta weight or compare all positions relative to that symbol. You can beta weight against a stock, for example, IBM. However, many experienced traders may try beta weighting against an index. Type a question mark into the symbol box and select the Indices tab for a list of index symbols. For this example, we will search for the symbol for the S&P 500, which is SPX. Watch the delta or net shares closely as beta weighting is applied to this portfolio. Now delta or net shares for each symbol is represented as equivalent to SPX shares. What does this mean? After beta weighting to SBX, you can view the relative risk of each position to movement in the market, or in this example, the S&P 500 index. At the bottom is a net total delta for the portfolio. Representing the relative risk of the portfolio should the S&P 500 move up or down. Will the portfolio move up or down the exact amount as if you held that number of shares of the index? No, because on any given day, a stock in the portfolio may move more or less than its average. This will then cause the portfolio's gain or loss on the day to be slightly higher or lower than if the beta-weighted net total was actual shares in the index. A frequently asked question is, what about symbols that tend to move opposite the index? You'll notice the delta or net shares on this symbol in the portfolio was positive before beta weighting. But after beta weighting, it is now negative, representing it as a symbol that tends to move opposite SPX or the market. What happens if you apply beta weighting and a symbol in your account returns NA? This may happen with mutual fund symbols and newly issued stocks. To have NA converted to a beta weighted number, Simply use the contact information by clicking the Help tab found on the upper right-hand side. You can also access Live Support by clicking on the Support Chat button. Request beta weighting for the symbol, and once the process is complete, the NA will become a beta weighted number for that symbol. Beta weighting is a feature tool on the Monitor tab. This measure of volatility lets you compare your current holdings against the market's volatility. How are you stacking up?